When I tell people that I went to school singing God Save the Gracious Queen. <laughs> they are not, are not wrong. If you're born before 62 that you sing at school. And it was one drama, Franklin, you know younger than me. It was one drama. We had to learn the emblems, which are different to, to the symbols. We had to learn the pledge. We had to learn the anthem. We had to, eh? A war, the whole of them, something we had to learn. Right? And on Independence Money, it was a big thing. So for those of us who became, who are at school, it was a big thing. We have independence because it was coming from our parents and grandparents about becoming, guess what happened? Self-government leading to independence. So that big something, you know? So, we oh, no better know the pledge. Because Franklin said, we have to sing it. Shall I tell them the words at this point? All right, listen to now. No, 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 shame me. All right? You remember, I pledge my heart forever. Go on. You see the leaf? Loyalties to it. Oh, reliance of the Jamaica. I'll leave it with you. You'll be invited to yes. sing during this national song, I Pledge My Heart, along with the orchestra, and Mr. Halliburton will lead you along. Franklin, in your hands and through your voice. Hello. Good afternoon, friends. I'm telling you, the view from up here is absolutely spectacular. You're looking all so beautiful. Oh, the colors. Give yourselves a round of applause. Now, this, this piece, um, the I Pledge, I have, you know, it, 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 it's, it was my distinct privilege to actually collaborate with Auntie Paulette in arranging this piece. Um, it really was arranged originally for uh, a, 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 a school choir or, or a choir of school children. Um, but this afternoon, you are the choir. You are going to be the choir. No, this is my baton. <laughs> Right? Now I'm going to conduct the orchestra for a part of the song. And when it is your turn to sing, I'm going to turn around and I'm going to conduct you with my baton. Now I don't want anybody going off on a frolic of their own. I don't want any contradescant. I don't want to hear any off key. Nothing off key. So if if your neighbor is singing off key, give them a gentle afternoon nudge. A gentle afternoon nudge, yes? Exactly, to go three decibels lower, right? That's right. I know that I, I, I see a lot of singers in the audience. I, I, see, I see singers in the front row, second row there. I know exactly. Jamaica's, one of Jamaica's most celebrated tenors, Rory Boy, sitting on the mound up there and stuff. So I want to hear you, Rory. You sing out, sing out, let me hear it. All right? So uh, uh, now I will cue you to sing, and I will also cue you to. Exactly. Don't let me have to turn around and sail the baton at you if you continue singing. Right? So I will cue you to stop. All right? I don't think we need a rehearsal for this. No. no. So we're going to do this. Take one.
Africa, ladies and gentlemen. What a delight, what a treat, what an absolute pleasure it is to be here to share this occasion. And that last piece arranged by Franklin Halliburton and Pauline Bellamy. Thank them one more time. I hope you know the word pia pia. Not because you're here in this setting that you don't know your Jamaican words. Imna fenke fenke. And I hope you know that it's a real thing when words double up coming from the three language in Ghana. All right. He was awarded the Order of Distinction, Commander Class, by the Jamaican government in 2012 in recognition of its dedicated and outstanding service to the development of music. In October 2018, he received the Institute of Jamaica's Gold Musgrave Medal. For you young people, if you have research to do, might I ask you, yes, the various universities have libraries, but the Institute of Jamaica is a repository of information that you need to plumb. You need to go there and find out things, okay? Now, the Hidden Garden is composed for oboe and strings and takes an impressionistic journey instead of the folk themes often used by Ashbourne. It was composed at the time of the upheaval in Tivoli Gardens in 2010 and is dedicated to the memory of the residents who lost their lives. The soloist Althea Neblet is Jamaica's leading oboist. Show you, hear me? What a good thing I went to school. What a good thing I went there, okay? And she has completed, no, hold this now, ABRSM, Royal School of Music, may I have it right? And LTCL, may I have it right? In Oboe Trinity College, London, and is in her final year, bachelor's in, which day? Final year, bachelor's in music for classical oboe at the Edna Manley College of the Visual and Performing Arts, right here in Jamaica. Are you ready, my sister? You ready? Me not ready yet. Me not quite ready. Me not done. Me not done. You want the orchestra behind me to support when I deliver this now. She's a founding director and current associate musical director of the Philharmonic Orchestra of Jamaica. Am I right? Yes, Can I get some of the things that I want to support me when you say it, ma'am? She's a native of which island of the Caribbean? Uh, Barbados. And also a Jamaican citizen. Yes. And is a qualified and practicing medical doctor and forensic pathologist. Ladies and gentlemen, could you help me welcome? Here she is, Doctor. Never. Clap on.
Martin Eblen. Thank you so much. This is a lady of quality. You know what I'm So, not because you're here, she's not Dr. Turner, met my mom to you right here, so now you're here. But she's here to play the oboe this evening. I'm going to rest this right here. Don't see why I can't use this stuff. Hello. Now, there's a gentleman. Is there a son here called Alan? Alan, you have a daddy here. He's up at the top. Look, look in the direction which may appoint. See people that wave up the like, them a fan fly. Is them up there? Go up there. Daddy up there. But Alan, I can ask you one question. Oh, you slow down and say, I put on this one. And your father is up there. Oh, Lord Jesus. Hey, my boy. <laughs> this is lovely. I'm, I'm about to burst into evening time, but I'm not Joyce Leila. Anybody remember the late Joyce Leila? Yeah. All right. So we found, by the way, there's going to be, let me tell you something. Things are going on here at Oak Gardens, you know. On the Sunday the 14th, they're having their 5K run and walk. And you can register at www.raceforhopejm.com. That's raceforhopejm.com. And registration closes on Friday, January 12th. They have given us the surroundings here this evening. We're comfortable, so try and support them now. I have a question I want to um, say to my I want to ask. Would you like to see more of these performances? What would it take for us to do more of this? They are not just sitting here, not just sitting there like that, you know, right? Things had to be assembled. Performances cost money. Mass Andrew Ho, performances cost money. But I believe, I said to Franklin just now, what would it take to do this two or three times a year? But we also need to ensure that the players even get a stipend. You know, so many of us do things for the love of it. So I'm telling Uno, or rather, I'm saying to all of you, if you are not comfortable with the Jamaican language such as Uno, that let's talk to corporate Jamaica. Yeah. Yeah. It's so funny, you know. Dance hall, get it, but we can't get it. Sponsorship, you're talking about. Corporate, drop it heavy in the dance hall. Tell them something over your char fire. Let me go on with the people in the program here. No, corporate supposed to come and help with this as well. We don't ask them to do it every week. And every week we ask them to do it. So what do you know so? Three growing on a full of face? No, I saw it have a fix. Almighty protect John Williams composition is about to deliver here now. And he did this in 2022, play for the Art Gala. This work draws on the popular dance hall. See the now dance hall tune, Almighty Protect Me. Recorded by assassin now Agent Sasko. With a dramatic opening, a classical masterpiece, Symphony 9 from New World. The work was composed by prolific composer, arranger, and musician John Williams Simpson right here. So. Who, um, John is a master artist, lecturer of jazz piano at the Edna Manning College of the Visual and Performing Arts and the recipient of the 2010 Silver Musgrave Medal. His early training was in classical music in violin and piano at the Royal College of Music in London, England. Almost so people are walking around the place and have no clue what their credentials are. May I tell you now? Over his career, he has undertaken orchestral arrangements as part of his personal development as a musician, exploring R&B, pop, folk, and reggae, among other genres. He has thrilled audiences around the world and has shared the stage with a number of top international artists. Are you ready for Mr. John Williams' composition? Almighty protect! We are sending out the word to Carpet Jamaica. They must be coming here. Serious thing.
He's a gone orchestra. <laughs> and let us say one. The Philharmonic Orchestra of Jamaica. Clap them again. <laughs> Listen on, um, some exciting things happen when you go to festivals and concerts and all of these things. You know, like people leaving their car engine running. <laughs> 3888 KV. White Nissan. I hope the key not lock inside it while the engine are on. Is that possible with nowadays cars? 3888KB, check your vehicle. Yes, thank you, but I've been walking around and dropping my pen everywhere. It's because I, you see, thank you so much, Franklin. What did I do without you? You're so good for a girl my age. <laughs> Hello, now they laugh after me. I laugh after myself, it's not very important something. Laughing is medicine. God, by the way, what up one day, I don't know, better laugh here. Try and laugh because you know, laugh here, I end up down in front of a judge. <laughs> On a joke, laugh, walk away. Laugh, walk away. No say nothing, keep on your mouth. Oh, <laughs> oh. Come on, you this now, no? So, I stand up beside it. You know, Mr. Proud when they know important people. Jamaicans can talk beautifully, you know. We don't have to say a word, we just go. <laughs> and we say everything. <laughs> no. John Williams. 
has composed many things as you heard. By the way, how many other com Jamaican composers have you heard since you sat down here? Four? 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 No, don't say anything. You're a musician. You, and you know too much. You come out of JDF. Um, I don't know whole a lot of knowledge in the head long time because the whole little them, them send me in a punishment. So tell me. Um, how many composers did you hear here today? Jamaican composers. Because you're all Jamaican composers. Lily, if you're a musician, don't say nothing. Well, name one. Andrew Marshall. Name two at the back. Paulette Bellamy. Name three on the side. Huh? Peter Ashman, the better name it up. Which part of the monkey they use it anyway? Name four. Who? Who? Hallie Button? You know, we're going to draw a this thing, you know. Burton. All right, the fifth one. Me here, Bellamy. John Williams. All right, hear this now. So, Evening Time was composed. Uh, rather, uh, this arrangement, popular and well-loved Jamaican folk song. The arrangement has been brilliantly arranged by father-son duo. That's John and Giovanni Williams. We glad to know these people here. With intricate variations on the familiar folk melody and created to showcase the breathtaking performing skills of Giovanni on violin. Quick, quick, let me tell you about him. He started to play when he was 13, violin. Right? That is after they take him out of the road and play a gig. Uh, I just put that in. He wants to play a gig. He doesn't know what gig is. All right? Um, and that was late uh, as by musical standards. Six months later after, he captured three trophies at Jamaica's premier performing arts festival and four trophies following the following year. Under the tutelage, this is the people, Stephen Woodham is one of them. Oh, yes. Paulette Bellamy is another, Dr. Lisa Walker. Giovanni has racked up much acclaim for his stage performances and academics. Giovanni currently holds a bachelor's in viola. She's on the hear me. Me go see on a viola, me go on viola. Oh, me learned that in 1965 at St. Hughes. Lily St. Hughes. All right. I don't know why I don't behave myself. It's difficult and my mother tried with me and she's still a child in 95. Yes, so he currently holds a bachelor's in viola performance from the prestigious Lynn University Conservatory of Music, Florida, where he studied under Ralph Fielding. Uh, Fielding, he toured Europe in 2016 with the Youth Orchestra of the Americas, Bob Ford, and he is the concert master for the Philharmonic Orchestra of Jamaica. Before he started playing, what does a concert master do? The concert master basically helps to um, conduct the orchestra along with the conductor and also facilitates the tuning of the orchestra. Clapping. <laughs> Clapping. One day I'm going to be uh, one day I'm going to be a concert master. Evening time, young Giovanni. It's your time.